we aggro. Okay, good cards, good cards, good cards. Uh, we're attacking on two? Yeah, sure, let's keep that. Keep that. We just need a two drop now. It's, it's free. Or that. Another one drop, sure. I'll take that. Another one. Good card. Okay, we're chilling. Sure, sure, man. You're a bird going on my bird? Go for it. Go for it. Don't care. Alright, we could just win this game right now. Can we just make him surrender right here? I'm here for it, man. Hi, opponents. Get your finger right here. Get your finger on that surrender button, opponents. Because the game is done. Game's over. They lost. Yeah, it's, it's GG. Uh, you can do that. You can do that. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take three. I'll take three. I'll take three for your trouble. That's okay. It's no big deal. Easy game, man. Easy game. And we're still going to have more value than them. Because we're playing Makayorkas. Yeah, sure. So I'm supposed to play the Pigeon first on the Draven, right? Like this chat? Watch and learn. <laughs> oh, cool. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, chat. I know you guys always got my back. When Riot doesn't have me, I know chat's got me. You guys are real ones. Both of these are good. I think Geo Geode Mecha Forcer is a little bit better. Yeah, opponent apparently had no pinks. It's not my problem, man. It's not my problem. Yeah, now we hit the two cost mechas when <laughs> when we could just use a five drop. Like the five drop here would just be game winning. Whatever, man. Draven can level up. Yeah, sometimes he does. Time for the money maker. I think we're taking four from Draven. We block this. Oh, challenger. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. If we take five, we can win the game next turn. I just don't want this to die. That's my main thing. We go down to nine. Nine is a scary number, right? Look at this. Two level Dravens in one game? I didn't know it was possible. Yeah, that's a pretty good draw. I mean, surely this game is just done. Surely. Watch and learn. Axis coming right up. Should I be giving? No, I'll give it to Draven. Yeah, because uh, with the Draven 7 damage and this, it should always be lethal. GG! Out aggroed by Mecha Yordles. Oh no. Oh no. It's them. Them. How high are you internal? Silver. You said that with such sadness, yeah. When I when I think about my rank, I realize what kind of decks are being played in Eternal right now. 
The fact that I died from 14 by an unleveled Ezreal when they had three cards in hand. And then you go to Twitter and people are defending that kind of deck. It's like, what are we doing here, guys? Are we even playing the same game? What are we doing here? Yeah, they need to rotate Ezreal to Hearthstone. <laughs> that, that'd be the real way to finally be rid of it once and for all. How's Riven Victor Ambush deck right now? I haven't seen it. I don't think it's very good. A lot of that's, a lot of tools got indirectly nerfed for that deck. That argument on Twitter was not Ezreal's craze right now. See, I don't... I think the deck is strong. I think it's like always too good when a deck like that can exist. But the problem is just how frustrating Ezreal is to play against. It doesn't even matter if he's good or bad. It's it's the fact that he can exist like that. It's it's it blows my mind. Like <laughs> the problem with Ezreal is that his design concept is inherently toxic, regardless of how good Betty is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's really all that needs to be said. Bur burst killing shouldn't be a thing. It's that simple. If burst killing is a thing, it needs to be like a forty percent win rate deck. Doesn't have to rhyme. It, it really needs to be like I said it about Time Bomb Printer too, right? I, I, I get arguments like, how can Sunny hate Ezreal burst killing when he plays Time Bomb Printer board clears? And then, and then you look at like, okay, first of all, I have to play Pilt over Shurima. I can't just play a deck that removes your stuff the entire time. I can't just play like, I have to set up the combo, right? I can't just be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do my own thing here and it'll probably go fine. I have to play, I have to get to turn four, I have to play Evil K, I have to find the Time Bombs. And even then, even... If it wasn't for all of that, if the deck was somehow like above 45% win rate, I would I would agree with everyone. Yes, this deck needs to be nerfed because it is not okay to exist. It is not okay to have burst speed, board clears, and lethal sometimes. It's a lot less damage than Ezreal. It's a lot less mana, or not less. It's a lot more mana you have to invest to even do that kind of stuff. But it doesn't even matter. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be a cringe lord on Twitter that defends Ezreal and say that it's okay for him to exist like that because it's not. It's not even close. Shouldn't exist. Sing with me. How about a duet? Doesn't kill her, but nah, I should have put the axe there then, I guess. Yeah, it would have probably been better to put the axe somewhere else. Absolutely right, but a bit silly if you expect sound arguments on Twitter. I mean, I don't want to call anyone out, but it is from another member of the community that's like... I want to say fairly well respected. And I usually really enjoy their takes too. But yeah, this was just, uh, this was wild to me, man. Couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, it was probably just like, you know, like hate farming, which, yeah, sure. Still got to kill this. How to find the argument? Uh, I, uh, it's on my Twitter. I made a post that I died from 14 HP. I, it wasn't even like, it wasn't even like meant to be anything serious, right? It was like, oh, I died from 14 HP by an unleveled Ezreal when they had three cards in hand. This sucks. Standard really isn't as bad as we make it seem. That was the point, right? It's like, okay, maybe we should, like, just accept that standard is here for a reason. And people people feel the need to defend champions that are rotated for a reason. I have accepted, I have come to terms with Victor, with Zillion, with Zoe, with Aram, with all of my favorite cards being an Eternal. I, 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 I was heartbroken on stream, I said that. But ultimately, you haven't heard me complain. The, the most I've said is, I miss Ezreal. If Riot tells me, uh, well, Sunny, the reason we had to rotate ya boy is because we can't print cool landmark cards for Shirima that do something interesting, like pulling them from your deck, if time bombs exist. Because, yeah, no, it, obviously it would break that. Of course. And I understand that. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Let's do this. 
But I, if, if somebody if somebody dies to Time Bomb Printer and they go on Twitter and they're like, wow, I can't believe I actually died to this combo. That sucks. I'd be like, yeah, that sucks. But, you know, you know eternal, dude. I, I even said like when we're Dave Neppen, I'm gonna be mainly I'm mainly gonna be a standard player because that is just where like the general interest is, and that's also ultimately the format I want to play. I want to play the format that Riot actively supports for like at least 66% of the patches, and I want to make sure that I can thrive in a ultimately more healthy meta, in a more healthy uh, ladder format. Yeah, good thing we have the do Upper. Flock was rotated, so I literally didn't care. I lost four of my most played champs. It was a war ball trade. See, that's how I, actually that's like that's a really good way to sum it up. That is basically how I felt too. I was like, well, you know, I might have lost some of my favorite champions, but I know that there are plenty of other cards I can meme with that I can just put in my deck. Like there are still cards that let me do that. So I'm I'm glad that some of the degeneracy is gone, so I I get to enjoy you know that type of stuff. Fury. All right. Uh, trust me, those are both discard fodder, so don't you worry about it. Brash boy. We have a lot of damage here. Oh. Much as I want to play Rumble, no, it's, I think it's correct to play Rumble, right? I think I have to play Rumble here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm all in here. Regen. Because I'm playing Rumble, and this will probably get removed. Like, I can't go on the attack to give this spell shield. Which one is your favorite Mecha Yordle? I think... I think Lil Dipper is, is probably the coolest one. But uh, you don't always get to do cool stuff with them. Mm. But my favorite is probably just this one, because it's the best. When you can pull it off. I, 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 I was heartbroken on stream, I said that. But ultimately, you haven't heard me complain. The, the most I've said is, I miss Ezreal. I oh, wait, <laughs> that's... I didn't mean I miss Ezreal. <laughs> that, that, I miss Victor, is what I meant to say. All right, oops. No, I, I, do, I don't miss that one. I don't. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I don't miss Ezreal. <laughs> I actually love Ezreal, man. A little Dipper plus a -Soul is probably one of the funnier. Yeah, I actually uploaded a deck on that at one point. That was a good one. Yeah, it's one of lethal, right? Because I could do this, then it's eleven. Guess I'll just keep the engine running. Not sure if that would be worth it. Yeah, things. I only have focus stick, right? I only have focus stick. Nice! Nice stats, boys. Nice. The world's a big oh, God. Place. Let's see all of it. Oh, my God. They have four cards. This time Ezreal is at four out of eight. Seraphine is leveled, I guess. Now yeah, we'll see what happens here. I saw this. Wait, I saw this one before. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I think I'm cool for now. Uh, what's four out of eight? Yeah, that doesn't actually help Ezreal. 
I, I, I like keeping this because if I get to attack next turn, I might have a way to lethal them with the impact. It's not bragging if you could back it up. This dies. This should be fine. The the one thing I'm scared of again is Seraphine Song Spinner. That that that's got to be like worst case scenario, right? They were off. They were one off. They didn't have a card to play. They didn't have mana to play a card and this. What the hell? Oh my god. I should have probably died here. I should have probably died this game. Yeah, I probably should have lost. Yeah, they needed a two mana card and they would have done it. I was about to lose that game. This one was just discounted by bar. Big Cat is base, so I like Big Cat, right? Uh, I I don't I don't like the way it's seeing play because of Seraphine, and I said this in my in my Seraphine video too, which you should watch by the way. It's probably my favorite scripted video I've done. Uh, I think I I think Big Cat got a lot less impressive because there's so many cards that just like kind of override each other. It's like oh. I can play three Mystic Shots, or I can play one Mystic Shot, one High Note, and one, I don't know, whatever else. Oh, there's a new thing. The Community Card Kitchen is open. Alright, we'll look at this after the game. I think it's uh, Professor Von Mech here. Because Rumble is our win con in this match. Even though we have no way to give Rumble Overwhelm. I think it's Professor Von Mech. Against this matchup specifically, I think this is the only right answer. The other two options are much better cards. But with this, we can get uh, we can get blockers for their, you know, their big attacks. That's fine. I'm pretty sure Big Cat does have the Cat Tribe, yeah. Okay, so this turn we have to play Professor Von Mech, and then we're probably gonna discard, like, a, a good portion of the cards we make. Why are they buffing that one? I need to find a Scrappy or a Draven. I need to be able to discard it at burst speed to uh, to deal with Gwen in a, in the best way possible. I am the blade in the darkness. Okay. Uh, probably just play to Draven first. I'll keep the one drop. It's a cheap blocker. Attunes. Wait, so this is four damage. This is six. I'm pretty sure we're using the flame spitter here. The level rumble. This is four, six. Yeah, this is uh, three more damage. Yeah, I'm down, dude. I'm down. I actually misplayed this. Oh man, rumble's supposed to go first. That was stupid. Yeah, rumble's supposed to go first. Oops. I missed a mecha yodel. Ah, oh, that's dumb, man. I shouldn't be making those mistakes. Uh, if Rumble went first, then he would have leveled off of that Whirling Death, and then the other two units would have struck the Nexus. Uh, these two, or this and the Ephemeral one, would have struck after Rumble is leveled, giving me a Mecha Yordle. Are you even a former League Rumble one trick? Yeah, I guess not, man. Washed as hell. That works for everything. Yeah, the, the level 2 form is just if you hit the Nexus. Rumble needs to level off of Mecha Yordles, but when he does, it's just any Nexus hit. That's 18 damage? Hello? Yeah, so sometimes you can just like... Pokey stick their Nexus. And then you get a Mecha Yordle for it. It's pretty good. So Alright, good luck with that attack. 
<laughs> Hard casting survival skills. Huh. Survive. Really? Okay, we might be dead. Uh, yeah, I take it back. I will not squander the great gift I've been given. I spoke a little too soon. A little too soon. Yeah, we're just dead to atrocity now. <laughs> oh no. So now Robo goes last because if if he dies in combat. You want these to hit. I mean... I they have it or they have it. To the chase. We also have this. This is a bad block, by the way, if they have Atrocity. If they have Atrocity, they just misplay it. Please? At least it's not atrocity. I'll take it, man. <laughs> Still means we could be dead to another ephemeral or elusive card, I guess. Hold? Hold up! GG. GG! Oh my god. Let's go! Very nice. Alright, yeah, let's look at the new... Here's the link chat. Don't forget to vote for the only right choice. All right. <laughs> In the community kitchen, we only create more ARAMs. I think if, if, if they make Seal Sister, she should, should be a champion, honestly. Mr. Snowy, I'm very stressed at work and having you in the background really makes me feel better. Yo, FG Venegas, good luck with work. I thank you for the 10 months. I hope things get better. Draven. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna play this. Because Avalanche kills the Zoe. If the Avalanche would just deal more damage. No, not more, but, you know. How it feels to play against your favorite champion? Ah, conflicting. But also pretty okay, because I know that I'm the only one that's allowed to play Zoe, so killing her feels right. So it could be the peak here. Rumble would have been a sick draw, though. No peak? I'm blocking with this because uh, if we block with the 2-4, they they just get an even better avalanche. We're not we're not gonna let that happen, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh. Actually, that's not that good. Never mind. I don't know why I got excited. We're not playing against aggro for once. Stop stream sniping them? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm off to top two in TFT. Oh, yeah, nice. Good luck. Isn't the announcement today of uh, Rune Terror Reforged? Played around that one like a king. 
Is it like midnight for us? Ah, okay, sorry. Got it. All right, I think we're in a good spot here. What is Rune Dairy Force? That's the name of the new TFT set. It's sadly not something LOR related. Sadly. I have the best job. Life still impact. Yeah, we, we totally need it against Targon's Peak, huh? How else are we gonna beat Targon's Peak out of all things? I think it should be midnight for you. It's just an announcement. It's not actually releasing or anything. Oh, that's pretty good. Nah, it doesn't really matter actually, because this fills up the board anyway. Eh, never mind. Let's do this. I don't think this is lethal. They probably have like a stun. Is this an eternal deck? Well. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll let you guess. <laughs> what do we lose to? I don't think we even lose to She Who Wanders. It's, ne it's never impossible to lose because Barry denies She Who Wanders. Two to take for the Prime Stuff. We lose to Aesol? Not really. We could we could take a lot of damage from um never seen a contraption like this before. Field rush, I guess. The wheel of war turns ever on what Okay, Rumble is pretty great. I don't level Draven. Uh, I don't win the game off of it. The, these axes are a little more valuable than leveling Draven. Yeah, Rumble is very good here. They have 9 mana, they can't field rush. That is really good for opponent though. I should um, consider the survival skills. I'm gonna try to win through Rumble here. I should use survival skills, I think, actually. Yeah. Ah, that was wrong. Yeah. The survival skills was very good. How much do you get from a prime sub? First one I've given. Uh, like two bucks, I think. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was a, that was that was definitely a misplay though. I had two survival skills. But I, I was looking at a way to win the next turn with Rumble, but the survival skills doesn't actually do anything. So I, I I played that poorly. I think I was playing very well up until that point, and I was just like, oh, I actually give myself a way to lose the game now by not protecting my six three because the six three was a better win con than Rumble, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We won the game anyway. Daring Poros. Not a terrible hand. Could be better though. Well, look for a Draven and, and Rumble. Draven and Rumble would have been pretty good. Okay, there's one. So with Rumble in the hand, we're just gonna play the Bomber Twins here. So we have this to discard, this to discard, this to discard. Two other cards that also want to discard, so. Uh, Pigeon is a good draw. Boom. I was a trash Nasses. Oh, okay. Can you explain your uh, your your right of calling play? I was curious about that one. Seemed seemed extremely random when you had two discard fodder or two sacrifice fodder things, and then you decide to give up mana. Especially if a double right in hand. I didn't quite get that. Oh, it's just a printer. Here 
Hey, I was a trash Nasogies. Oh, maybe you can explain it to me then. Maybe you'll be able to explain it. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. I just played the card. There was more going on than just playing cards there. Yeah, Rumble is elusive. Sonny, what is that? It wasn't me, okay? It wasn't me. Hey, <laughs> I was stream sniping GG's. <laughs> gotcha. For a printer deck? I have no clue. No, no, I, I think I figured out what it is, chat. <laughs> This transient, as long as the body holds blood. Oh my god, these aren't. Oh, this one is shuffled. Alright, never mind. Need a light? <laughs> well, I mean, we still have an elusive rumble, so. Joke's on you, I guess. <laughs> Adjustment. <laughs> uh, all right. Ah, we're just, we're just, we're just. Oh, wait, we're at one. She can take it, maybe. Red line. Okay. Uh, nah, it's it's uh it's pretty over. I need you to play that deck. I don't think you realize what's going on here, Venegas. If we play this deck, we're gonna hit this combo one every 20 games. We just happen to be the opponent where uh you know our opponents manage to do it. I need a Draven. Never seen a like this <laughs> I can only win with Draven. Also, I need them to not have Troll Chan. Yeah, no, it's over. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> we'll be our opponent's one and only win. Lost with Elusive Rumble? Yeah, yeah. If they hit four Elnox from their troop of Elnox and then they have a uh, pack, yeah, you, you just kind of lose, dude. Doesn't matter what you do. Do you have a death counter for a conversion? No, I don't think anyone uh, took track last time. I didn't die that many times, though. It was actually kind of doable. Let's play Rumble on turn four. That's exactly what I did. I even hit Elusive Rumble, and I still lost. <laughs> I'll take that one for Zap. This could die to Parlay. I don't even know if we ping it. I bring music yeah, we do. Plunder was, was a really cool deck, but... It turned into just like something that was the opposite of that. Or is the opposite of that. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. Uncool. I mean, I like the concept a lot of Sejuani Gangplank. But yeah, it's just to hit the Nexus five turns and then win. Okay. Am I all in on Rumble? I think I am, right? Probably discarding this too. Oh, okay, that's honestly pretty much a high roll. We'll do this then. Let's turn up the heat. Working as intended. Overwhelm? 
We still die to Sejuani. Like, Sejuani just kind of destroys us. But we get two more attacks with Rumble. So hopefully that does it. Nice to meet you. I'm Ida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, Scout. All right, winnable. Remember when rotation didn't exist? I mean, you have to realize that they like unnerved a lot of cards, which kind of put us in the spot we're in right now. A big reason NASA's trash is good right now is actually just the the fact that they reverted the abomination to a four three. As weird as that sounds. I mean, this just levels my rumble. Hey, watch the pain. What are you gonna do? All right, thanks. We're getting hot, hot, hot. So we have to open attack. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. So we don't get shafted by Shadiwani. That is not a good one, but it is a 3 8. Bombadias! Tough? I'll take tough, dude. Tough is pretty good. The best keyword in the game is tough. Brash again. All right, we're wide. Turn in the tanks. Let's do this. <laughs> I said, in skill of one to ten, how much are you enjoying LOR currently? Oh man, that's hard to say. I think I think the eternal meta is degenerate. So I don't really know what the answer is. Probably like a six. Oh, they killed himself. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happened? I wasn't even thinking about that. Right, that hit yourself too. Yeah, GG. Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, time bomb printer, one, two, pop. Meta shifter, not a quitter, fighting for LPP.